her colonoscopy was memorably aired on the Today Show back in 2000 when she was host of the National Morning Show. She became an advocate for colon cancer awareness after the death of her husband. So it was a startling revelation when Katie Cork announced on her website Wednesday morning she was diagnosed with breast cancer in June and has since undergone surgery and radiation. Her fans are reacting. She says she's been involved in so many, you know, health awareness things and community kinds of things that. Um, yeah, it's really sad to hear. Dr. David Anderson did not treat Cork, but is an expert in the field. He is a breast surgical oncologist at the Dubin Breast Center of Mount Sinai. Breast cancer does not run in Cork's family. About 80 to 90 percent of women diagnosed with breast cancer have no family history. Routine self breast exams are important, but the mammogram is the gold standard. Cork needed an additional screening method, an ultrasound because of dense breast tissue, and she wants women to know they may fall into this category. But she notes not all insurance companies will fully or even partially pay for potentially life saving breast ultrasounds. 40 percent of American women have dense tissue. It's very important because. Mammograms are not as effective, they're not as sensitive, meaning they can't see as small lesions or cancers uh, when women have very dense breasts. Signs to look out for in breast cancer, a lump or lumps which can be painless, changes in your skin, either skin thickening or changes in color of the skin, additionally swelling or change in the size or contour of the breast, and finally nipple discharge. Great strides have been made in the field including new therapies and drugs. With more targeted treatments, we have just the same outcomes or better outcomes with less aggressive or radical treatment. Corrick says she went public now in part because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Well, I'm glad that it was caught early. That's good to hear.